What you think of yourself isn't what they think too. How you speak of yourself is what you make come true. So take your little ideas, make them a little bit stronger. Throw out the ones you can. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Parks and Tech. Uh, today, we are going to be taking our first looks and our first flight of the Femi X8 SE 2020 edition. We are actually going to be going out to the uh, Beaver Run Reservoir uh, with uh, TDR, uh, Brian himself. Now, I did fire it up for the very first time last night. I uh, did the update on it. Uh, the latest update, I think, was either from Thursday or Friday. Uh, there's a bunch of different new um, you know, firmware numbers and codes and so forth. So I'll go ahead and put that screenshot up on these video right now so you can see all those. I apologize, I can't remember them all. One thing I did notice straight out of the box was that my transmitter was not bound to uh, the quad. So when I went to turn everything on, it just showed that it was disconnected and that it would not connect. Um, so I did have to go on ahead and bind that. How you do that is make sure the quad and the transmitter are both on. Uh, once they have fully started up, uh, hold that power button down on the transmitter until it starts beeping rapidly. At that point, there's that little flap where you put the SD card in. There is a button that is right next to that SD card slot. Go on ahead and push that button in. You have to hold it for a couple seconds. You'll see the back white light of the Femi actually go off. Uh, and at that point, then just let it sit until it binds. But that's uh, that's actually how you go ahead and bind that. So if you do run into that problem straight out of the box, it won't connect. Make sure you bind that transmitter and then everything seemed to work okay, at least so I thought. This is my uh, my first flight, my first experience with the Femi X8 SE 2020. Uh, I am gonna go on ahead and skip the unboxing. There really isn't anything else inside the box worth noting. Uh, it's the exact same box, it just says 2020 on it. They changed a couple of the specs and they don't really give you anything else inside of the box other than uh, the, you know, the transmitter, the connection cables, the uh, quad itself, your battery, and uh, your charging brick and so forth. Um, now I did order mine from the US warehouse and of course they still sent me uh, an EU uh, plug. So uh, no, no big deal there. Uh, I'm sure everybody, I'm sure all of us have the, uh, the converters and so forth, but just be aware of that just in case because you might not have uh, you, you might not have been expecting that, so just something to just something to be aware of. There we go. That took a little time. I got it. It took a little while. All right. Start some video. Yeah. What it? Oh, I see that. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Oh, I know. I can imagine. So it seems to be hovering okay. No props are hopefully gonna fall, fall off or anything. No warnings on the screen, so that's good. It wandered off a little bit. You can tell it moved forward a little bit from the takeoff. But, let's see what's up. Oh. It's got them brakes on there like the Zeno. 
Yeah, it's got some air, air brakes for sure. Yeah. And why isn't it? Oh, okay. So I just realized that the, wow. Look at this. So see what I'm facing? Yeah. Here we go, you ready? Left, left stick. Not going anywhere. No. No. No, it's not yawing at no. all. No, it moved a tiny bit at one point, and then that was it. Did you look at the settings? Let me, uh, whoop. Yeah, sure Mine does that. Yeah, that's that's figure. That other one I got? Yeah. You know mine? Yeah. It does that. It does that same shit as the other one. I don't know if the I wonder if it'll go... Okay, so it will go side to side. But it won't yaw. Let me bring it down. No! Uh, we can if you want. I, uh... So hang on, now that we're real close, let me just make sure it's no kind of weird interference. Right. Yeah, see? That's full full that's stick left. It's turn it's trying a little bit, yeah. but it won't kick it. Right. And right, it, it just wobbles. Right. You guys that's can weird. see. So but I can. Now you never flown this? Nope. This is the very first flight. It just came in yesterday. You can see it's really bobbing around. That's me moving now. This is not like the original Femi. You know, Chris Chris said that his, his controller was broken right out of the box too. I don't know if you saw that video. Yeah. Oh, now it's turning. Well, now, now it's turning. No, yawning, yawning. Oh, yeah. I see that. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we are now out here in my backyard. Um, Brian and I were kind of talking this over. Um, this was straight out of the box, so, you know, unfortunately, these types of things do happen uh, from time to time. So, we'll just have to kind of play it by ear here, but uh, I am going to hover just like I said about a foot or two off the ground and uh, just kind of let it kind of dr drain down this battery a little bit and kind of see what happens. Just go for a lift off. I'm going to move it away from my camera a little bit, just in case it does decide to fall. Lower it a hair. So up and down works just fine. I'm gonna go on ahead and try to go to the left here. And it actually is working now. As you can see, uh, you know, from the end of the video when I was out at the Beaver Run Reservoir, it, uh, it also was working towards the end there a little bit. So that was to the left. Well, it's yaw to the right. And it doesn't want to yaw to the right right now. So you can see, stick over, not turning yawing rather. Let's try to the left again. To the left tends to work okay. It's a little gust of breeze here but nothing uh, nothing too serious. Bring her back a little bit. left nothing to the right again still nothing nope it's trying let's 
still not getting much. Okay, guys and girls, so you can see that I am now right next to the uh, the quadcopter. I got it all bound up with the original transmitter, and um, it, uh, as of right now, it's fumbling around with some GPS. Uh, the transmitter signal is extremely low, so this might not work. I tested it inside the house a little bit to see if it would, um, you know, to see if it would move the move the gimbal. Um, of course I am getting the video transmission but I am not getting the uh, controls. Yeah, I can't, I, I'll try to try it out here but I can't be able to do the gimbal at all. So here it is. See on the screen recording. And I'm not fortunately getting any movement here. And here I'm doing that on purpose so you guys can hear that I'm moving the wheel. So right now it is currently in um, adding mode because it's struggling getting uh, some, some GPS here. So it doesn't look like that you are able to use the original uh, Femi controller. Uh, 11 satellites, 10, 11 satellites isn't terrible. But uh, so the video transmission strong, but it is the signal coming from this transmitter to the quad that it is not wanting to to do anything. I'm just gonna see if I can start the motors with it, because really I don't want to go very far. I just want to see if it will yaw correctly. It may or may not. So let's just see if it will even start the motors. No, so it won't even start the motors. So now this is using the Femi uh, 2020 app. So I'm going to go ahead and switch apps and go into the original Femi app and maybe, who knows, maybe that has something to do with it or maybe it'll work then. So this is the regular Femi uh, Navi app. If I go on ahead and do enter device, it just goes black, disconnected of course, and then it force closes the app. So it does not look like... I'm going to be able to test this and see if the original transmitter um, works with the Femi 2020. Um, clearly it doesn't. So that's okay. It is, uh, it is what it is. Uh, it was just a, just a thought to see if it would work. Um, so unfortunately I can't test to see if it is the problem with uh, the transmitter uh, or if it is indeed a problem with the quad. Um, although it does still seem to work from time to time, so I guess we you know, we shall see. There you have it, folks. Uh, that was my first flight and my first looks of the Fumi X8 SE 2020. Uh, until I figure out exactly what the issue is uh, on my, my quad, I am not going to be really doing anything else with it. Um, I will be posting and giving you guys updates and so forth, um, but if I cannot yaw or if it's going to do it sporadically here and there, then, well... It's just not worth flying at this point. So uh, so hopefully this issue does not happen to you. Uh, I know a couple other people that have theirs and they have not experienced this issue. Uh, I know that Chris, the QC guy, his transmitter came in broken. Um, and I believe, if I remember correctly, it was also the left stick, which is also the one that I'm having problems with. So who knows, if worse comes to worse, I'll uh, take it apart and see, we'll see what's going on under there. So... But, uh, but anyhow, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you found any of this content useful. Uh, be sure to also hit that subscribe button and to hit that bell uh, so that you can be notified of any new content that I will be posting here soon. Uh, also, hopefully, from the Femi X8 SE 2020, the, uh, the Xeno 2, and of course the Mavic Air 2 as well, and Power Egg X. Can't forget about that bad boy. So, anyhow... Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.